With many of the specs now confirmed for the new DJI Mini 3 Pro, two questions are coming up more and more. Will it have the new numeric C classification? And will the heavier battery mess up the maximum takeoff mass, which affects where it can be flown? Well, today I'm gonna to explain why no C rating on this new drone would be a huge bonus for us in the UK, and also how the heavier battery will not necessarily derail things. Hello, I'm Ian and I play with drones. And this week, look, we've got uh, full details of the features and specs for the new Mini 3 Pro. And of course, the subject of C classification has come up again, uh, which is the Europe and UK wide classification system coming into play that will permit drones to fly in certain types of flights and locations from the end of this year. Although I must say, it's looking increasingly certain this transition period is definitely gonna be extended for another year or two but it's the possibility of the heavier battery that will enable the longer flying time that is also causing a lot of confusion and questions. To be clear, the standard battery with the Mini 3 Pro will allow a flight time of around 34 minutes, but there is also a heavier battery that will enable a 47 minute flight time. And that heavier, more powerful battery may take the overall weight over 250 grams. And that's what's generating all the questions about maximum takeoff mass. But as it happens, both these questions can be answered by taking a quick look at the hefty 172 page document from the UK's Civil Aviation Authority called CAP 722, which is their official guidance for the use of unmanned aircraft, including consumer drones in the UK. Now, I did a video on the rules that came into force back in 2020, and I can put a link to that above, but in a nutshell, the new EASA-based rules allow for far more freedom for flying the smallest and lightest of drones, allowing them to be flown in towns and cities. Now, uh, I'll be flashing up some screen grabs in the next minute or so, so uh, you may want to hit that pause button to read these screen grabs. But the smallest and lightest drones are designated C0, and they have to meet these two main specifications, namely have a maximum takeoff mass of less than 250 grams, and a maximum speed of 19 meters per second. And this is where things get so interesting for us in the UK because the maximum takeoff mass is a calculated value. It's specified by the manufacturer for that particular model. It indicates the maximum weight that the drone is capable of taking off with, and that is including batteries and any accessories. And this, of course, is a specification calculated and defined by DJI during their design. So you can see this seems to scupper the Mini 3 straight away, similar to the Mini 2, as we know can take off with prop guards. So that means straight away it can take off with a weight that's heavier than 250 grams. Similarly, any heavy battery that takes it over 250 grams will be the same. So where does that leave us? Well, it's this fantastic piece in uh, CAP 722 guidance that explains how to interpret things where there is no C classification or defined maximum takeoff mass. You see here, it states for legacy unmanned aircraft without a C marking, any reference to maximum takeoff mass should be taken to mean the weight of the aircraft at the point of takeoff for that particular flight. And this is why it's so brilliant for us flyers in the UK, because this means that the entire fleet, existing fleet of UK owned Mini 1s, 2s and the new Mini 3s can continue to fly under the more flexible sub 250 gram rules. If it has no numerical C classification, then it's simply the weight at the point of takeoff for that particular flight that counts and dictates the rules on where it can fly. And that is why it's so good for us if the Mini 3 is released without a numerical C classification. The moment the Mini 3 start being sold with a C0 classification, it will then have a defined maximum takeoff mass that is higher than 250 grams, because we know it can handle heavier loads or batteries, and it is that defined takeoff mass that will limit its flight. So my advice is absolutely get a Mini 2 or a Mini 3 now whilst they're still unclassified. And if the option for the heavier battery is there, then yeah, that's fine and dandy because you'll be able to choose the lighter battery for A1 flights in towns and cities and the heavier battery for when you're on longer flights out in the open countryside. So there you go, hopefully sorted. Nice short video, but for once it looks like we're really benefiting from these new rules. Bit, uh, a bit more news on possible release dates, thinking May the 10th, I believe, is now being rumoured to be the release date. So a couple of weeks, not the end of the world. But look, anyway, as ever, let me know your thoughts below. Love reading your comments. And as before, until next time, you have fun, happy flying.